Good morning, everyone. In today's video, we're going to be looking into how to deploy the NWEA Secure Testing Browser. Since this browser um, downloads as executable, we'll actually have to go through a couple of extra steps outside of the norm and able to deploy this properly through Intune and maintain it in our educational fleets of devices. So in order to do this, I have been using the Windows Sandbox, which is a nice little utility that lets you, you know, run apps in it that are kind of siloed off of your main computer. And then when you, you know, X out of it and close it, everything that you did is wiped out. So it's a nice little utility to be able to utilize to do kind of certain little things with executables, testing them and other stuff like that. Um, there's even actually PowerShell scripts that you can integrate into this Windows Sandbox to test it as if Intune was deploying it to make sure it deploys properly. So it's actually a nice little utility. So in order to get started, I'm gonna download the Lockdown browser from the links that would have been provided to us by all of our educational contacts. I'm gonna copy and paste it into the Windows Sandbox environment. Now, once I get it into the Windows Sandbox environment, I'm gonna copy it into the Downloads folder. And it takes a few seconds because of the file size. And then from here, I'm going to start to launch the application like I'm installing it. But once I get to this, I'm going to stop because you see here it's extracting the MSI. And that is specifically the file that we need. So we're going to move this window over to the left hand side. We're going to right click and open a new file explorer window. And we're going to go to percent local app data percent. OK. Now from here, we're going to go under the temp directory and we're going to start looking in this folder for different like MSI codes. Now remember, each time it's downloaded or changed or modified, it generates and spawns a new MSI code. So once we come in here, you'll need to make sure that you find the one that has the Windows installer. So once you have that file, you're actually going to copy it and then you're going to move to your normal Windows machine where you redo your, your files and whatnot and you're going to go into the directory that you repackage things, and this is where you're going to place that file. So in this example, we're going to place it in this new folder directory that I have to start repackaging it. Now that we have the MSI, we can go and start through the repackaging steps. Since we're done with this, all we simply have to do, come in here, cancel, finish, exit out of here, close the Windows Sandbox utility, and now everything that we worked on is gone and we don't have to worry about cleaning up the files. Super, super awesome in that regard. So now that we have our MSI installer, we now need to go through the repackaging process. So the repackaging process, as we can see, I've got my PowerShell prompt to pull up and I went ahead and navigated to the directory that has my utility, went ahead and launched it, and now I need to specify my setup folder. So now I'm going to come into the NWEA and go up to the directory that had the binary for it. And we're going to copy and paste this into our clipboard. Paste that into PowerShell. I'm going to right click, go to show more options, go to properties. I'm going to copy this name. And since this is the MSI, I'm going to put a .MSI at the end. Now we need to go to the output folder. So from here, we need to go back up to our Intune Win directory, NWEA, Secure Testing Browser. Okay, copy this directory, paste that in here. And as usual, there are no catalog folders. Perfect. Now that it's repackaging the application, we can prepare to go ahead and start getting it uploaded in Intune. Awesome. So now that it's done, we can close out of this, close out of here, and now we can start loading into our demo tenant to start working on this. So let's log into our Intune console. We're going to go to apps, all apps. We're going to add, and we're going to go down to add a Windows 32 app. We're going to select the app package file, click on the folder, point it to that directory where that file is located, the Intune Win, is the one that we're, we're going to need. Perfect. And in here, this is where you can edit the descriptions and everything for the file. 
Now, I've gone ahead and repackaged this application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm actually going to go to show you that application and what files and settings I have pushed in there so that way it's easier for you to deploy. So we're going to go down to NWDA and search for it. Click into this here. We're going to go to properties. And then as you can see here, I've got the description all laid out on the website, the app version, what it's used for, the informational URLs. I even included the logo file so that you could download it and integrate it into your environment in case you wanted to make this available as like an application for people. Um, down here are the install codes, the uninstall codes. And then from here, the operating system architecture, configuring the detection rules. There's no dependencies or supersedence for this one. Now, the one thing I would probably recommend is under assignments, when you go to push this application out, since it's a testing application, I probably recommend hiding the toast notifications because this is probably something that you just want on the machines, but you don't really want people to know that it's installing. So it's usually best to come in here, hide all the toast notifications by clicking this drop down, going and clicking a device time zone, which I apparently forgot to do myself, and clicking OK. And then from here, reviewing and saving and allowing the application to push out. From here, once the application starts to push out, you can see the systems it's installing on. And as you can see in my tests, this is, per this is pushing out perfectly fine to Surface Laptop SE devices. This one right here is actually sitting next to me. Um, it was sitting here overnight and installed overnight. And then this one is actually a test VM that's running all the time. And it installed it probably about five minutes after I pushed it out. So I just wanted to show you this nice little video to help us with um, the NWEA Secure Browser just to make it easier for all of our educational institutions. Well, thank you and have a great day.